See, if you knew how to make your regular nail polish look like gel, wouldn't you want to do it every single time? This is not just a nail tutorial. This is a life lesson. And I really like doing this because it does make the hands look more expensive and more beautiful. And let's just get into the video. We're starting with washing our hands because this is an underrated step in beauty. I think keeping your nails really, really clean and your hands clean is like a basic foundation of a nice manicure. This is also gonna remove dirt and oil from both under and on top of the nail plate, which is crucial for making your manicure last. You know what phrase I just learned? A hundo instead of 100. I love that. Once your nails are clean on a hundo, we're gonna, clean. we're gonna completely dry the nail plate. This is super important, obviously, because you don't want any moisture under there. And then kind of weird, but I'm moisturizing my hands before we get started. I like to do this because I want my hands to be hydrated, but I can't be bothered to do it after I've waited for my polish to dry. So let's just do it before and then like any manicure should begin, you're always going to dehydrate the nail. So just by doing this, it's going to remove any of the hand cream that we just got on the nail plate, which is not only going to make the manicure look better, but also make it last a super long time. Now it's time to start working with some polishes. I'm gonna take a base coat. Now, normally you would just wipe this off the side and then just apply a thin layer to your nail, but no. Today, we're gonna dip this in, let it drip once, and then start twirling the polish bottle. I'm just working against gravity here, trying to keep a lot of clear polish on this brush. Now I'm gonna bring the brush over top of the nail I intend to paint, stop twirling, press it to the upper area of the nail and then push it all the way up towards the cuticle without touching it. Let it travel there on its own and then drag it down. And since you've got so much product on this brush, you're gonna see a really glossy look. This is the absolute best part of this tutorial because you're laying down a, found a foundation <laughs> to make your nail look awesome uh, and really, really gel-like. Now, when you're doing the opposite hand, just hold your polish bottle still, or the brush, I mean, and then move your hand instead because your opposite hand doesn't have as much control. So why try to make it have control? It just won't, which is kind of just how I feel about life in general, hashtag relatable. I think that this looks better if you add two coats. So I'm gonna do another coat. It does plump the nail and that is the goal here. We really, really wanna make it look like there's a layer of plastic over the nail because that's essentially what gel is. You've gotta be patient with this, but once you are patient and you wait about 10 minutes for this to dry entirely, your nails will look really, really beautiful. And we haven't even put the color on yet. Now, I love doing an unexpected color. I'm gonna use this really pretty blue shade. It's called Taffy from Live Love Polish. This is a really great non-toxic and cruelty-free brand that matters to me a lot. But there is a certain attribute, no matter what brand you're using, that your nail polish needs to have. Now, if you see any of the black bristles that come on most polish applicators, through that polish, it's not gonna work for this technique. It needs to be completely covering the brush and it needs to look almost like pancake batter. That is what's going to pull off this gel texture. So now I'm dotting the polish and pushing it up towards the cuticle, but not touching the cuticle. And then I'm gonna go swipe side and side. I like to do this rather slowly because it allows all of the polish that's on the brush to fall onto the nail, which is going to add about 30% more polish to the nail without actually like dropping a ton on. And the reason I flip my nail over when it's super wet is because I want it to level out. What I mean by that is, since I'm applying so much polish to this nail, I want to make sure that it levels out towards the center of the nail, which is gonna make it have a line of light that is really, really glossy and beautiful. So I'm gonna do this for each nail and then let it dry for 10 to 15 minutes. And it already looks so beautiful. There's no top coat, but they look so glossy. Like this looks like they just sat in a UV light. Girl code tells me that like it's not even like okay or right to ever have one coat of polish, even though you don't really need to with this polish. I'm gonna do two because it's just, it's the rules. While you're watching this, tell me what color you intuitively just wanna try with this technique because I think for me, I like doing lighter colors, but I would love to see your recreations. Okay, now the next step is to clean it up. This is kind of a pain and this is a little bit of an extra detail that not, I don't think everybody needs to do, but if you really wanna give it this professional, beautiful look, take a tiny little brush like this. This one's really great for cleaning up with a little bit of nail polish and just kind of like dance this along the edges of the cuticle, any areas that you messed up and really clean it up so that it looks like a perfect oval on your nail. Now we can do the finishing touch, which is to add a glossy, 
taco. Yes, I too am a holosexual. I am going to add a cuticle oil to the very end of this process. This is a really nice one because it rolls on. I'm just going to buff this into the cuticles and this is going to make your nails perfect for taking nail photos. I love the way that these look in every lighting. Even when it's dark in the room, I see how glossy my nails are and I just am so happy that I took the time to do these because they look amazing. I hope you guys try these out. Let me know what you thought of this video. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thumbs down if you didn't and you guys know. I'll see you in my next one. Bye-bye.